so welcome to the very first video on example on continuous random variable so this problem says the mileage c in thousands so mileage is given in terms of thousands of miles which car owners get with certain kind of tire is a random variable having the probability density function so we are given a probability density function with some condition okay so what we have to do is we have to just find out the probability that one of these tires will last at most 10,000 miles means the tire is having uh, at most 10,000 miles uh, it should uh, give a mileage okay so in the problem solving what you can do is you can just start with this uh, given f of x and just find out the first one so i have a very less space that's why i'm going to in the solution i'm not writing but uh, in the exam you have to write the given function f of x now let us find out uh, the first one that is the probability of at most at most 10,000 miles so what is the probability of at most uh, 10,000 miles you can write actually this is probability of at most means at the most we can have 10,000 miles minimum we should have 0 ok so 0 less than equal to x less than equal to 10,000 miles now why I am not writing 10,000 because it is given that mileage C is in thousands that's why I am writing here it is 10 okay now solve this we have already seen what is probability of uh, A less than equal to X less than equal to B okay okay so what it should be probability of 0 less than equal to x less than equal to 10 so it should be integration from 0 to 10 f of x dx okay and from 0 to 10 but we have for f of x we have two values for less than 0 we have this and for greater than 0 we have this so what you can do is you can just uh, break this interval and two parts like no need to break actually you can directly write from 0 to 10 so 0 to 10 lie under which one this one or this one which lies in this one right that is less than equal to 0 so 0 to 10 will for 0 to 10 this will hold this condition and for this condition we have the f of x so you can just write here integration 0 to uh, 10 f of x is 1 by 20 e to the power minus x by 20 dx okay now take 1 by 20 outside so i'm writing here now so 1 by 20 outside what is integration of e to the power anything e to the power minus x by 20 don't forget to divide by the coefficient of x so what is coefficient of x minus 1 by 20 0 to 10 okay so this 1 by 20 get cancelled with this 1 by 20 and we remain with we remain with minus sign outside in place of x put 10 so what is it e to the power minus 10 by 20 that is minus 1 by 2 minus put x is equal to 0 so this is e to the power 0 now you can put these values uh, with the help of calculator you can just find out this is just 1 e to the power 0 this value you can easily found out with the help of calculator and you will get the value of this to be 0 0.3935 so this is the probability that the tire last at most 10,000 miles now you are smart enough to write down uh, or you can smart enough to find out the probability of next one. So what we have to find out next? Next we have to find out. Okay. So if you want you can just write it very systematically. 
therefore probability of at most probability of at most 10,000 miles miles is equal to point three nine three five. Always remember that your answer should not be negative and it should not exceed 1 because it's a probability and we have the basic exams of probability that probabilities are all positive and it should not go beyond 1. What is what next we have to find out? We ne next we have to find out probability of tire last anywhere from anywhere from 16,000 to 24,000 miles. Okay. Sixteen thousand to twenty four thousand miles. So this can you can find out this like probability of sixteen less than equal to x less than equal to twenty four. And if you remember we have the function whose two values were given to you and this falls under the first condition. So we can directly write integration from 16 to 24 f of x dx. And what is f of x dx in that case? In that case we have 16 to 24 1 by 20 e to the power minus x by 20 dx. Now you have this. Now what you can do is you can just find out. I'll just solve this. So it's like 1 by 20 outside, then again same integration. So e to the power minus x by 20 divided by 1 by 20 with negative sign 16 to 24 limits. This get cancelled with this. And we just remain with minus. Now in place of x put 24 so it is like e to the power 24 by 20 that is minus 6 by 5 minus put here now 16. So this is e power e power what is it 4 minus 4 by 5 and then you can just write down your final answer. So this comes out to be Point one four eight two. So this is probability of tire will last anywhere from sixteen thousand to twenty four thousand miles. Okay, so this is zero point one four eight two. Now I think you are now smart enough to find out the probability, third probability. What was it? Was probability of at least at least thirty thousand miles. So how you can find out probability of at least thirty thousand miles means minimum we need thirty, maximum it can be anything. Okay, so it is like probability of thirty less than x less than infinity or you can write it as like 30 less than equal to x less than infinity so for this you can find like uh, integration from 30 to infinity then it is like f of x so value of f of x is 1 by 20 e to the power minus x by 20 dx and this comes out to be 1 by 20 then apply the limits or uh, do the integration, apply the limits, uh, 30 to infinity, this get cancelled with this. So we remain with, what is it? Minus of, what is e to the power minus infinity? Do anyone remember? e to the power minus infinity is 0. And the next thing is e to the power minus 30 by 20 is 3 by 2. So whatever answer you are getting, you can substitute there and you can 
just write down the final answer this is e to the power plus 3 by 2 because e to the power minus infinity is 0 when you multiply this you will be getting plus anyway being the probability it cannot be negative so your final answer or final answer to this one is 0.2281 okay so this is the probability for the third one it's, it's not 8 it's 3 1 you can make use of calculator to get the answer of this okay so such type of problems uh, can be asked on continuous random variable so a very easy problem i suppose okay so thank you for watching this learning video